In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six metallic options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this dark blue uh, background for the slide. And when I click the first option appears here, you can see here, this is a, a silver pipe I have created. Then I've used this particular shape, a metallic fill uh, with the purple color. Then I have added the icon the title and the detailed text and I have added the shadow effect for this option and when I click the second option comes with some different color combinations then the third option the fourth fifth and the sixth option and if you don't need a dark background slide then you can go ahead with this also I have just created with a white background so whichever you feel better you can use it for your requirement so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle and make sure it is fully curved by dragging this small orange point inwards. You can see here and then shape outline. You can make it no outline and I'm going to give a gradient fill for this. Right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. So I have used uh, before that's the reason it's coming here. So I'm going to use four stops. So first stop, I'm going to make it maybe you can make it black also here. And then here I'm just going to use some light color or white color. Also, you can use it. Maybe I can use white here and then here also I'm going to use somewhat black, something like this. And make sure that the type is linear and the direction you can just select maybe either linear down or linear up. So once this is done, I can just reduce the size. You can see here, I can reduce the size. And then I'm going to duplicate this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this, reduce the size, increase the width, you can see here, and I'm going to change the color here. So here, instead of black, I'm going to use some different color. Maybe I'm going to use a dark purple here, you can see here. And here also I'm going to use the same color dark purple and then here I'm going to use some light colors or good color combination maybe this one you can see here and here I'm going to use maybe somewhat lighter also so you can see here we end up getting this one and you can make it less curved something like this and then just put it on top of that the metallic one and then just you can see here let me just make it somewhat less curve and once this is done make sure it is properly aligned press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to delete the darker from one side so i'm just going to select this and i can just simply delete this one so you can see here just put it here make it increase the size and make it less curved you can see here and bring it on top and then just send this to back so you can see here we end up getting uh, this kind of shape and if you want some shadow effect also you can select this and create some shadow effect something like this and if you want you can give some shadow effect for this select this uh, rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to select solid fill and change the color to black increase the transparency effect and go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here and I'm going to just select this one put it here increase the width make sure it is somewhat outside of the you can see here should be visible let me just increase the size further and then you can just go to format and then send this to back so you can see here a shadow effect has been created now uh, if you have the icons you can insert the icons or if you don't have the icons you can simply insert the text also so i'm going to insert and just say text box here i'll say your title center align make the font as white make it bold and put it here and then you can insert equals lorem within brackets uh, some detail uh, uh, quotation uh, you can just add this one 
so and just center align and again you can reduce it the size to fit in so you can see here if you want you can just select it bring it more at the bottom also so once this is done you can just select all or you can press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it and just move it here ctrl d so this is my second option ctrl d this is my third option i'm going to select by holding the shift key all these three make sure it is center and press ctrl d and i'm going to add one more at the bottom here and again let me just select all and put it here in the center now you can see here our options are ready our design is ready if you want you can make it a white only the background or you can just change the background to any good color of your choice whichever color you feel is better you can just change it you can see here and if you want you can keep it either one color only or if you want to change them different colors so again come here select this and here i'm going to select somewhat darker color maybe i'm going to select uh, this color you can see here and here also i'm going to select the same color and in between i'm going to select some lighter color here you can see here so it looks like a metallic and if you want you can use the same color or more lighter also you can use it and same thing goes here and again here i'm going to use the dark color and here i'm going to use somewhat light colors you can see here something like this so each option you can just simply go and change it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye